Hello everyone, this is part 8 on how to make a shoot 'em up game in Scratch. In this tutorial, I will continue working on the weapon upgrading system and make some small gameplay changes. If you haven't seen parts 1 through 7 yet, check them out, links are in the description below. Anyways, let's get started. So right now we have a power-up system where the player can collect power-ups from the enemy planes. However, right now the power-ups don't really do anything. So let's add a weapon upgrading system. So let's go to our code. And I was thinking that the player plane should start off with a single shooting gun, but once the player collects enough upgrades, then the player can upgrade into a double shooting gun. So I'm going to make the player start off with a weapon that only shoots one bullet at a time. So I'm going to go to the player weapon text, and then inside of the costumes, I am going to create a new costume, and then I'm going to type something like a uh, single shot. Okay. I'm going to make this color black. All right, then I'm going to center it. And I'm going to drag this as the first costume. So the player is going to start off with a single shotgun. And then once the player has enough upgrades, then it's going to upgrade into a double shot gun. So now we just added text for the single shot. However, we also have to add the code for the single shot bullets. So let's go to the bullet sprite. And right now, all of this code in here is the code for the double shot. So I'm going to drag everything inside of this if mouse down, outside, and then I'm going to go to my blocks and create a new block. And I'll call this uh, double shot, and then click OK. And then I'm going to drag this block on the double shot code. All right, so this is all the code for the double shot gun. But now I'm going to create a new block and then call this uh, single shot, and then click OK. And then I'm going to have code under here for the single shooting weapon. So first off, I'm going to uh, right click and then duplicate some of the code from the double shot. And then I'm going to drag this under the single shot. And of course, for the bullets, we want it to go to the player plane. However, for the single shot, we're going to have the bullets spawn from the middle of the plane. So we don't want to minus 8 from the X position of the player plane. So I'm going to drag this out and then put this back in. And I think we can leave the Y position part the same. So for the single shot, it's going to spawn in the middle of the player plane, and then it's going to create a clone of the bullet. And we don't need the set side to right because there is no right or left on the single shot. So we can take that out. And then after all of that, let's wait. Player reload speed seconds. However, I'm going to make the single shot shoot twice as slow as the double shot. So instead of just player reload seconds, I'm going to go to operators. And then instead, wait, player reload seconds, or sorry, player reload speed times two seconds. All right. So now it's going to shoot twice as slow. And now this is all our code for the single shot weapon. And I'm going to go to my blocks and then drag the single shot block inside of this if mouse down. And by the way, me dragging this inside of here is the same thing as me dragging this code inside of here. And we can do the same thing for the double shot too, if you want to try out the double shot gun. However, right now, I'm going to test out the single shot. So I'm going to try it out. And as you can see, we have a single shooting weapon like this. All right, cool. So now we want the player to be able to upgrade from this single shooting weapon to the double shooting weapon. And to do that, let's go to our PowerPoint display sprite. This was the sprite that showed how many power points we have. And to make the player upgrade the weapon, we want to check if the player's current power points is greater than or equal than the power points needed. And if it is, then the player's weapon upgrades. So inside of our code, we want to check if, and then go to operators, if the player's power points is greater than, so variables, if the power points is greater than power points needed, or if it's equal to, so let's go to operators, and then drag an or. So or, if the power points is equal to power points needed. And then let's drag this inside of the if. Then we want to upgrade the weapon. However, we have to subtract the weapon upgrading cost. So let's set the player's power points to how many power points they currently have minus the power points needed. 
And now let's drag this inside of the set PowerPoint. So let's say the player collects five PowerPoints and the player needs five PowerPoints in order to upgrade to the next weapon. Then, uh, since the current player's PowerPoints is equal to the amount that they need to upgrade, then their PowerPoints are going to go back to zero because they had five PowerPoints. However, they subtract that by the number of PowerPoints that they need. And now we also want the player to increase their weapon level. So let's create a new variable. And then I'm going to call this uh, weapon level and then click OK. And then once the player upgrades to the next weapon level, then of course the player is going to change weapon level by one. And this is going to be the basic script for the weapon upgrading system. And now we're going to actually use this weapon level variable. So first off, I'm going to go to the player plane sprite and then set the weapon level variable to one. And that's going to be the single shot. However, once the player upgrades to weapon level two, then the player is going to change to a double shot weapon. So in order to change weapons, I'm going to go to the bullet sprite. And then I'm going to go to control and drag in if else. And let's check if the weapon level is equal to one, then the player is going to do the single shot. However, I'm going to right click duplicate. If the weapon level is equal to two, then the player is going to do the double shot. So I'm going to my blocks and then double shot. And now the player is able to switch guns based on the weapon level. And by the way, I'm going to leave this else uh, blank because I'm going to probably be adding more weapon types in the future. So yeah, but anyways, now we also need the text over here to change based on the weapon level. So let's go to our text sprite. And I'm just going to go to control, drag a forever loop. And then forever switch costume to the weapon level. So as long as we order our costumes correctly, then this text should work fine. And now let's try it out. So right now, as you can see, we have our single shot. And once we collect five power up points, then, oops, okay, we have three right now. We should upgrade to double shot once I get two more. All right, one more. And all right, cool. So now, as you can see, we have double shot, oops. And then the plane shoots out two bullets at a time. All right, I'm going to try that again because I obviously died. But first off, I'm going to go to the player plane and remove all of the touching enemy plane stuff so that we can't lose. But anyways, I'm going to try it again. So as you can see, we have single shot. And then once we collect five power ups, then we upgrade to double shot. So three more. Come on, okay, two more. All right, and one more power up. All right, cool. And now, as you can see, we have double shot and the player shoots two bullets at a time like that. All right, cool. Um, let's try getting five more power up points. All right, two more, one more and all right, so unfortunately, um, the game did not really work once we upgraded from our double shot. And that is because we don't have a third weapon. So of course, once we add a third weapon, it would work. However, for right now, let's just set the double shot as the maximum level for the weapon. So I'm gonna first go to the PowerPoint display sprite. And I don't want the power ups to do anything once the player reaches the max level. So inside of this if statement, we also want to check if the weapon level is less than the max weapon level. And for the max weapon level, let's create a new variable. I'm going to call this max weapon level. Okay. And we want to make sure to check if the weapon level is less than the max weapon level. And then we want to drag in and, and then put this on the right side and drag all of this over here and put this in the left side. Oops. Let me try it again. So I'm going to drag this on the left side. All right, cool. And then we can drag all of this back inside of the if. So 
I'm going to try to fit that in there. Um, Alright, cool. So now the player can't upgrade to the next weapon level if the player is at the maximum weapon level. And I also want the PowerPoint display to show like max level or something like that over here once the player reaches the max level weapon. So I'm going to create a new costume. And then I'm going to type something like maxed or something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to drag this in the center. And I'm going to name this something like uh, maxed. Okay, and now inside of the code, I'm going to drag in if else, and then check if the weapon level is less than the max weapon level. Then I want to display all of the PowerPoint stuff like normal. So I'm going to drag the set PowerPoint display inside of the if. And then else, I want to show the maxed costume like this. So again, that means that the player can't collect any more power points, so the PowerPoint display would hide. So to hide it, we don't actually want to hide the original sprite because the original sprite is already hidden, but instead we want to um, set the PowerPoint display to just nothing. So let's backspace on the number over here. And then by doing this, none of the number clones are going to show. But we also want to actually show the original sprite and then make the original sprite switch costume to the maxed costume. And then let's see, I'm going to first make the sprite show. All right. And then I'm going to make this text go up here. So over here. And OK. That's about X position 164 and Y position 116. I'm going to try increasing it to like 118. Okay, maybe 117. Um, I think 118 works fine. Okay. And then I'm going to drag this inside of the else. And then I'm going to go inside of my player plane sprite. And under when the flag is clicked, I'm going to set the max weapon level to 2. Because of course, right now, we only have two guns. However, if you add like five or six guns, then you have to set the max weapon level to the number of guns you have. Okay, so it seems like I accidentally disconnected the when I start as a clone. So I'm going to reconnect that to the clone script. All right, and now the numbers should be appearing correctly. So now, as you can see, we have our single shot and it requires five power up points to upgrade. And then once we get five power up points, then it should upgrade to our double shot. And that should be our max upgrade. So let's try it out. One more PowerPoint. All right. As you can see, now we have our double shot. And it says maxed over here. And now, no matter how many PowerPoints we collect, we can't upgrade this weapon anymore. So yeah. And I think this should work. All right, cool. And now we have our basic weapon upgrading system. So right now, of course, I only have two guns, but I might add more in the future. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to reconnect the damage script in the player plane. So now the player plane can take damage. And I think the enemy planes shoot the bullets a bit too quickly. So I'm going to make the enemy bullets travel a bit slower. I'm going to say move. 8 steps instead of 12 steps. Let's try it out. So this is the game right now. The player starts off with the single shot. And then once the player collects 5 power up points, then the player can upgrade to the double shot. So, alright, one more. And, alright, cool. Now we have the double shot. And, yeah. And now we have our working weapon upgrading system. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe too, if you haven't already. In the next video, I might add more weapons or start working on an enemy wave system. I also share this project on my Scratch profile, so check it out. Link is in the description below. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. See ya!